All right, so today we're gonna do something a little different and uh, it's a little video game review sort of thing. Um, I typically don't do these, but the only reason that I'm doing this is because recently I've gotten into uh, drones and learning how to fly FPV or first person view. Uh, I am by no means an expert pilot, uh, but this has helped me get off the ground and uh, there's a lot of good carryover from playing the simulator to actually flying in real life. And what I'm showing you today is there is a new map in development called Melon Pan Park Playground. And uh, I've got uh, early access to this and I just wanted to show you guys uh, you know how expansive and beautiful this map really is and all the cool little features that it's got um typical if you're not like familiar with liftoff the the typical things that they've got here are free flight they've got race uh infinite race hover drone race and item collection where they hide like balloons you can go find them and pop them um and then you can pick your different tracks down here for the preview there is just free flight which is fine because that's typically what i use anyway um because i'm just learning how to move the drone around in space um but the detail that the liftoff team puts into these maps is always really cool it's little like easter egg sort of things that they put in there um that most simulators like from my racing background typically uh it's just the car the track and other cars that you're racing against um and that's all that's there there's nothing to it. it's just focused on being a serious simulator and you know you're you're focusing on driving dynamics and you know interacting with other drivers all that fun stuff this has very good uh feel to it um, from what I can tell at least I'm not a professional pilot by any means uh, but I am able to fly in here and make a good kind of um, correlation to real life flying with my little tiny loop that I've got um, and I've really enjoyed playing the game and uh, when I got the opportunity to test out this map I jumped at it because I really do enjoy it and uh, Right now, I'm just kind of giving you an overview of all the different things here. You know, obviously it being a playground, there's a bunch of big playground equipment and tons of gaps and things to fly around. Over here, we've got like a little obstacle course. And, uh, you know, I can foresee whenever they start uh, putting races in here, uh, some of the track layouts could be pretty fun and challenging for sure. Um, I'm not the best pilot at like hitting gaps and things like that, but uh, I am learning and I'm getting better at it every time I every time I play and just fly. And this has definitely helped me like learn all of the controls and things like that. But uh, the cool thing about this map is that um, one, it's very visually stunning. I mean, like over here we've got this cherry blossom tree. You can see the leaves. Uh, falling from it there they go there's like butterflies flying around uh, signage there's this little like uh, board over here with signs on them uh, just like all of this detail that they put into it that just kind of takes you makes the uh, experience a little bit more um, I don't know unique and then the cool thing is if I don't miss you can go down these slides and just kill your props and slide down there so that's a fun little feature that uh, I'm sure you could tie into some of your different flights or even races that you do here um, if you're really good you could fly through these little like monkey bar rings I am not so I'm not even gonna try that uh, but they have this like what I can only assume is a child trap uh, it also works really well for trapping drones uh, if you get a little bit offline, you just bounce around all crazy, which is pretty fun. But uh, uh, things that I like about the interaction with um, these are the little like Easter eggs that the liftoff team puts into these maps is on some maps like they have vending machines you could uh, uh, bounce into and uh, they'll spit out a can of soda or whatever. This one, they've got these little Peter totters here that you can actually like get rocking pretty good you know is it necessary for 
Yeah, oop. Got away from me there. Is it necessary for any like FPV uh, simulation? No, but it is a fun thing you can do. Uh, they even have a tic-tac-toe game right over here that you could bump into the little uh, cylinders here and spin the... Well, let's try that again. Boink! That moves a little bit. But yeah, you can spin those around if you're, uh, if you're good at it. They've even got like drawings on the chalkboard. Uh, they've got this little food truck here. Talk about the detail. Um, they've got all the different things that they sell on the side with descriptions, prices. They've got their hours of operation. They've got they've got a soda machine in there. Uh, they also have a fire extinguisher. There it is. Got a fire extinguisher, some pots and pans. And I mean, like even up here on the balconies, they've got flowers and things like that. But this is the main part of the map, the, the playground, which is what it's named after. But there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, they've got places you can explore. If you go too high, it'll just cut you off. There's a railroad that runs through the top here. Um, they've got way alleyways that you can explore vending machines these ones if you bump into them they don't spit anything out like they do on the silver screen map but um, you know vehicles parked alongside they've got a bunch of you know power wires things like that I've learned if you bump into a power wire with a tiny Boop, uh, there's a little bright flash on your display and then it proceeds to uh, take itself to outer space um, until it calms back down. Uh, there's another alleyway down this way, which is pretty cool. I mean, they got clothes hanging up here, bicycles, soccer balls. You can't bump the soccer balls around. Uh, but then yeah, you're back at the park. I mean, there's this map just goes for forever. And uh, the other cool thing I wanted to show you guys here is this little mural they've got. I mean, like, just things like that, that you go in and you go out of bounds, it'll tell you to turn around. But just the amount of detail that they plan and the forethought that goes into all of these different maps. They've got advertisements for like <laughs> beer and things like that. And uh, they've even got a XR drone advertisement and this guy here, which who doesn't love a doge. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the, the X, the outskirts rather of the map. I uh, just saw a butterfly fly through the thing, but yeah. Awesome map, lots of stuff to fly around. Uh, easy stuff, complicated stuff. I mean, you can get very creative. There's tons of space if you just want to practice different tricks and things like that. Um, great map, I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to see uh, how the development goes and um, what all they add and the different modes that they have and the tracks that will be available. But anyhow, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Definitely check out this map when it comes out. Um, I really like it. I hope you do too. And uh, if you want to learn how to fly FPV, I highly recommend checking out Liftoff. Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything by them. It's just what I've been using and uh, it's been a huge help and I've really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you later.